Now, we were talking about ball season or formal season, whatever you want to call it. And if you are looking to have that extra special hairdo, probably for the ladies this one, then I'm going to show you how to make a great hair piece like this. So, it's gorgeous and you can easily make it at home. And the cool part is that even if you just want to have your hair out or do a ponytail, like you don't need to go to the hairdresser and get a really expensive fancy hairdo for the night. You can look that extra special just by making one of these. So what you're going to need is a headband. You want to make sure that it's a fabric headband because plastic ones are really hard to stitch into. Actually, they're impossible to stitch into, so get a fabric one and pick it um, so that it's the same colour as your hair so that it can blend in. And then obviously the thread needs to be the same colour as well. Then all you need is the little bits of jewellery that you're going to attach to it. So we've got a chandelier earring here. Now you know all the cheap jewellery stores, you can buy stuff like this very, very easily. And um, then you just want to pull off all the extra bits. So this is what the chandelier earring looks like when all those bits have been taken off. And part of the bits are these little jump rings here. Now, sometimes they might be attached and sometimes you might have to go buy them, but they are really cheap as well. What you need to do is take your pliers and open them up and then just attach them onto these little hoops here. And that is how you're going to attach all the jewels. So you want to stitch this on first and it's very important to make sure that you stitch it into the very center of your headband. So it would help if you had a ruler or even a mat like we've got here where you can um, find the exact center. So you want to stitch that on there and once that's in the middle you can relax and breathe a little bit and then you just want to attach your jewels. So you go jump ring onto the end and then if we're going for the small end there you want to attach a very small piece from there to your headband and again you might just want to measure this out as you're going and check that it's alright. You can do chains as well and then you could do another longer one here from the middle over to the headband. And you get the idea, it's actually, as a technique, it's very easy to do. It's quite small and fiddly, but if you've got a good stitching hand, you can do it. And the good part is that you can always unpick it if it's not looking good either. But I promise that once you've finished, the effort is totally worth it, because you get something like this customised to you, and you'll look totally gorgeous at the ball. All the instructions are online. Have fun making them, and we'd love to see your formal or ball photos if you send them in, especially if you're wearing one of these. That would be totally cool. <laughs> Please, Ooh. hurry up and subscribe! Uh, click, click the subscribe button! No oh, Eva, you've been pushing! No. Why is it so big? Oh, keep pushing! Just click subscribe! Otherwise, we're gonna be here the whole time! Oh,